Welcome back everyone. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do because I'm about to ask Lars, how do I become a millionaire? If I am say 18 years old and I come to you and I've just finished school, I'm motivated, enthusiastic, I want to get rich, I want to be completely financially independent, never have to worry about you know money like how do I become a millionaire what is your advice to me yeah so so I often think that I have perhaps the most boring advice of anyone because I, I tell you to um, to very steadily put money aside mm -hmm. over time put that money in a uh, in an index tracking fund mm -hmm. where you can reasonably expect and uh, walk through how I get to that but you can reasonably expect to make four and a half five percent in uh, return okay per year after inflation. All right. So that's real numbers. Mm -hmm. um, and so what you should do is you should find a way to put some money aside every year. Mm -hmm. And then with the power of compounding interest, it'll quickly amount to a lot more than, you, uh, than you'd expect. All right, so say I've managed to, you know, part-time job and I've managed to save up my first $1,000 and I'm ready to invest that $1,000. Mm. But say um, I've got a spare $30, per day because mm -hmm. I've decided, not that I am a smoker, I've decided I'm going to quit smoking because mm -hmm. I think that's how much cigarettes cost in Australia. Okay. So I've got a thousand dollars ready yeah. to roll and I've also, I know that I can, from my quitting this addiction, whether it be, I guess, cigarettes or wine or, um, you know, taking well, lunch have, to yeah, work yeah. every day, um, I've got a spare thirty dollars per day yeah. and I've found the, I found my all world index fund yeah. and I'm ready to roll. like. And I do this. How, how is this going to turn me into a millionaire? So what happens is the so we did. Here's the spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we'll share this with uh, the viewers yeah. after. I, yeah, I'll, we'll share it with the viewers, and I'll also put the formula that we're using um, on the screen okay. as well. Okay, so it's 365 days in a year. Mm -hmm. Smoke a pack a day. Yep. Thirty dollars. You said a pack cost in Australia. I think it costs more, but for, let's be conservative and call so it So that means the, that you are spending ten thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. So for, a the, year. for the smokers out there that spend about thirty dollars a day on cigarettes, you are wasting just under eleven thousand dollars a year on right. cigarettes. So let's say you have a thousand. Start with you put a thousand. A, put that aside. So we're doing all this in today's money. Yep, today's money, okay. no inflation. So eleven thousand the first year. Then the next year, you can reasonably expect the eleven thousand um, to go up by five percent. Mm -hmm. We can change the numbers. You yep. see real inflation nominal. So we've kept inflation at zero. Inflation at zero, and then you do that every year. It's just simple, regular so you, investment. All the other money that you earn, you can spend to your heart's delight. That means that if there's, and of course, in markets, you can be, it can be better than this, mm -hmm. and it can, it can be worse. But on average, this is not an unreasonable expectation. Exactly. At age 53, you'd be a millionaire. So by age 53, the portfolio would be worth over 1.05 um, yeah. million dollars. So a million dollars, 50,000. 50,000, right? yeah. yep. If you continue mm -hmm. um, to 65 at retirement, it would be two million Australian dollars. Yeah. So let's say you couldn't do it with cigarettes; it's super easy to change. Let's say you, uh, let's say you drink a beer less a day. Okay. How much is a beer at a bar? Now we're going to make everyone feel really awful, <laughs> especially during Tell the football. How much is a beer at a bar? Um, say s seven or eight dollars. So let's say seven, just to be. So you s one beer less a day, and then at a bar, that's doesn't sound like a lot, mm -hmm. right? You drink a beer less a day. We can make it less. $480,000 in retirement, you will be better off if you drink a beer less a day. Yep. And Let's that, say you only do that, that on weekends. That's on today's dollars, because we that's haven't in added in inflation. So think of that. So so think of something that costs today $480,000. You can reasonably expect it to cost that, that in the future. That would pay for a, a home, a family home. So let's say you just states. do it on the weekends. Mm -hmm. One beer. Mm -hmm. One beer. One day a week. I'm really not making yeah. friends now. And this is this we, is recorded during the mm. football. So it's um well so it's literally one seventh of that, right? Mm. So now we're just talking small numbers. But you will be if you save one beer less a week at a Which bar. Which is literally a dollar a day. It's yes. investing a dollar a day. Yes. Yeah, it's just cost seven dollars. Seventy thousand well sixty eight thousand dollars. You can reasonably expect it. Yeah. Yes. And again, that is in today's dollars. So think about what you can buy for sixty-eight thousand dollars. Um, these numbers multiply dramatically, dramatically, dramatically when we dramatic. actually act factor inflation. Inflation is typically around two and a half, sometimes up to three percent. So you can see the the magnifying so impact in? of um, of inflation. Can we go back and to the example of the thirty dollars a day yes. and show the impact of inflation? 
Well, it's gonna be. What do you want it to be? Three percent. Let's call it three percent. Yeah, but it's a future dollar. It's, it's future dollars. So it's like five million. With that example, where I asked Lars to show me how to become a millionaire um, with an initial start of a thousand dollars plus thirty dollars per day, set and forget. That's it. Inflation now at three percent, five percent return. That portfolio would be worth five million three hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars. Yeah, but and it's I, in, but it's like, misleading, in, right? Because it it's a bit like when my old grandmother used to say to me that, you know, oh, you wouldn't believe what you could buy for one crone or mm. be That doesn't sound right. right but yeah. it's just <laughs> so the you know a dollar in in uh, in in forty seven years is not what a dollar is today if you assume three percent a year, right? So, e exactly. So can I tell you a story about that? At my yes, neighbor at university, he was Brazilian, mm -hmm. and he. Um, his parents bought a flat mm -hmm. in Sao Paulo, mm -hmm. and a decade later they sold the flat. And what they had bought the flat for mm -hmm. in Brazilian reais, mm -hmm. they couldn't post a letter for when they sold the flat. Oh right. my goodness. So that's hyperinflation. Mm. Like you've heard about Germany yeah, in the yeah, 30s. Yeah. Or, that's why all the best uh, foreign exchange traders are Latin America, because they have experienced <laughs> hyperinflation. Um, so this is why these meet, these numbers, you have to use real numbers. Mm, yeah, Think yeah. of it in today's terms. Mm. Like, but it's, it shows you it isn't that hard to become financially free and oh, to absolutely. become a millionaire. Absolutely. And with this formula, at age 44, you're mm. a millionaire. Yes. And, in future dollars. And if you, and th this is also assuming that you just do the, the barest, most simplest investment strategy. Yes. You know, you might well, get a pay rise, you might get an inheritance, absolutely. you might get a bonus, you might get and on average tax you will. refund. Statistically, you know. on average, mm. you will. But, yeah. but I think the smokers might say that the quitting the, the, the cigarettes is not the easiest bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully, this is a little added um, financial incentive. But you could, to do you it. could go by half. Yeah. I mean, quit, quit, um, yes reduce your, the number of cigarettes you smoke by half and the numbers would be half, yeah. right? And I mean, it doesn't have to be drastic. The point is just that compounding over a long period of time makes a substantial difference in mm. your financial life. And the key with investing over a long time is having patience, you know, not letting emotions, um, you know, make knee-jerk reactions, sitting on your hands, you know, being mm. resilient where there are tough economic times, you know, and, um, and sit with the strategy. The only way it's going to work is giving it the benefit of time. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Lars, for your time. I greatly appreciate it. I've no. taken a long, lot longer than I said I would. So thank you no, so much. No pleasure. And pleasure. for everyone watching, please go and check out Lars's channel, and I will link his books and obviously all his other videos in the video description box below. Thanks everyone for watching.